Another thing that you might want to do if you find an article that you like and you want to look at later is send that article to your Google Drive. So say I was using this article, and I guess it doesn't have to be an article, it could be an image or a magazine. Uh, either way, you would click on the item that you want to send to your Google Drive, and you'll notice it still has all of these same things up at the top of the article. On the right hand side, there's an arrow. And if you hover over it, it's actually going to say send to. When you click on it, it gives you a couple options. The easiest one in my mind is to send it to your Google Drive. Once you send it to your Google Drive, it's going to save it into your drive forever. So it saves the entire article right to your drive. And as far as I know, it also saves the citation. So if you're going to use something and you want to save it for later because you're not going to finish it in one class period, what I would do is send it to my drive. All I have to do is click on Google Drive. It's going to ask me to pick my school ID or whichever ID or email I want to send it to. I'm going to choose my school. You're going to choose your school email also. And once it's sent, it's going to pop up at the bottom with content saved successfully to Google Drive. Then when you go to your drive, it's going to come up in a new folder in your drive. And oh, wrong email. That folder is usually a different color. Sometimes it's not, sometimes it is. It depends on which database. But usually at this top right here, it'll come up in a new folder. And look, there's my new folder, Spanish Civil War. There's the entire article. And it, it saves the entire thing. And then at the bottom, there's my citation. So if you know that you're not going to finish something and you don't want to look back on it, when you get home, you don't want to have to look for the item again. You don't want to have to go through all of the steps getting through the database to this article. Just send it right to your drive. That way, you have it. You don't have to look for it in the, the databases again. And it's done.